Okay, first I'm going to go ahead and prime my eye. And I'm going to use the same thing I've been using all summer, which is my Lancome 24-hour waterproof um, primer and nude. And I'm just going to put this on with my finger and blend it in because the warmth of my finger really does help melt this product a lot better okay next i'm just going to go ahead and go in with my milani brown brow kit in medium and with the big old fluffy brush from eco tools i'm going to pick up that median tone and we're going to go ahead and use this as a transition color so we're going to put this in the crease and it doesn't really need to be Precise or anything like that. We just want to go ahead and blend it because we will be using this as a transition color. So I'm just going to put it in my crease and blend it up a little bit towards the brow, not too far much. And I do not want this on my lid or anywhere around my lid. So just like that. Okay, now I'm going to go ahead and take this Victoria's Secret eyeshadow and it's called Next to Nothing and this is what it looks like. Um, you can't really see it on here but it's like a really shimmery kind of frosty eyeshadow and with my ring finger I'm going to just put this on my lid. You can use a um, brush if you like, you can also apply it wet. I just get the best application when I use my fingers. So again, just applying it all over my lid. And as you can see, it's like very sparkly. I like it. Alright. I'm going to wipe off my finger. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and go black back in with that blending brush. I'm not putting any extra product on it. I'm just blending those two colors out so that we can get rid of any harsh lines or messy, anything messy really. And this eyeshadow look is so easy to create. Next, I'm going to go in for my highlight and I'm going to use the same brow kit and I'm just going to take that top color and put it as my highlight and again just on both sides I like using a bigger brush for this because it blends it out easier and yeah so next I'm gonna go ahead and get a dome crease brush and this is from I don't know what brand this is from and I'm gonna take the bottom one and I'm gonna go ahead and focus this on the outer V of my eye I'm gonna just pat it in first and then we're gonna go ahead and blend it so focusing it on the outer corner and then with that um, blending brush that we've been using just go ahead and try to blend it out a little bit getting rid of any harsh lines and I'm kind of really just patting it in because I don't want the darker color to go all the way in just enough to where you can kind of see it transition just like that and if you take it too far up just go back with that um, brush that you put your highlighter in and just blend it back down a little bit that's really about it um, now I'm going to go ahead and go in with this blue eyeliner pencil and this is from Avon and it's called Pretty Blue you can use whatever you would like this is just the color that I'm going to be using it's the only one I could find and we will be putting this all on the lower lash line it's like that I have my mirror over here all right and now that I lined that I'm going to take a smaller shader brush and again this is from Equal Tools and I'm going to take that highlighting powder and then just putting this in the inner crease, I mean inner tear duct of my eye. And we're going to go over it with that sparkling color that we had. 
But first, before we do that, we're going to go ahead and take any kind of blue eyeshadow that you had. This was the only one that I had that I could kind of think of. And this is the Wet to Dry um, eyeshadow from Victoria's Secret. This is the Rush Collection, the Beauty Rush Collection. And it is in the color Blue Ray. Okay, and I'm just going to use this like flat um, brush. I think this was like a lip liner or a lip, like a lipstick brush or something like that, but you do what you, you use what you got, right? So tapping off any excess, I'm going to go right over that eye, eyeliner that we just applied and we will be smudging this all over it and it is going to lighten it up. And again, you don't have to use the same colors I'm using. You can use blue, I mean teal, you can use purple. I was just inspired to do this, and I will be linking down everything below for you guys. I'm going to take a little bit into the inner, just a little bit, because we're going to put that other color over it. And it's just going to make a nice gradient effect. Alright, once you're happy with the color payoff, which mine is pretty good, I'm going to go ahead and go back in with that small shader brush and the Victoria's Secret Next to Nothing eyeshadow that we had used before and apply this again in the inner tear duct and going over the bottom where we have put the blue so that it's starting from a lighter color to a darker color. Okay, now if you want to go ahead and add any kind of liquid eyeliner to your top lash line, you can, but I'm just going to add pencil liner into the upper and lower water line. And the one I'm just using is a black one from Jordana. Okay, so I already went ahead and I applied um, two coats of the Benefit There Real Mascara and I applied my Jordana eyeliner in black and I do want to apologize because maintenance is doing something. I don't know what it's doing or what they're doing, but yeah. So I did curl my eyelashes and as you can see, like, they're pretty long. So this is the finished eye look. Um, I'm going to go ahead and just line my lips using my e.l.f. lip liner and... I think this is nude or natural. It's just like a shape and highlight one. And then I'm going to use the Think Pink in number 901. And this is the Wet n Wild Mega Last Lipsticks or something like that. And that is it. You're done. You can add a gloss over this if you like. I already have, um, what's it called, Vaseline underneath it. So it kind of already makes it like really, really smooth and stuff. But this is the finished eye look. Very simple. I hope you guys enjoyed it. The products that I used aren't expensive, so they're very easy to find. And again, I'll go ahead and list where I got my inspiration down below. Um, she is another beauty guru here, and she didn't do a makeup tutorial. She was wearing this look when she did a, a different tutorial. So everything will be listed down below. Um, also, if you're interested on in how to get this hair, I will also go ahead and link that down below as well as the for a hair tutorial and I believe that's about it guys um, I already told you the products and I will list it below as well well thank you so much for watching don't forget to comment rate and subscribe and I hope you ladies have a great day bye